Hello! This is a video tutorial on how to log into your Office One desktop with a fresh new Windows or a new computer. Step 1. Reaching your home desktop. If you have not yet set up a password, you should be able to reach the home desktop screen right when you turn your computer on. If you have set up a password, you will need to input your password in order to reach the screen. Step 2. Find your browser. We must use a browser in order to connect to your virtual desktop. You can do this by either using Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, or Google Chrome. In this video, I will be demonstrating this with Internet Explorer because it comes included with Windows. Step 3. Reaching the iWorks website. Next, we will be visiting the iWorks website. You can do this by going to the URL bar located near the top of your browser. Clicking on the address and typing in www.i-worx.ca. We are entering the iWorks website in order to look for the correct link that allows us to reach our virtual computer. Step 4. Client Login Address. Click on Client Login in the navigation bar. On the next page, under the Client Login title, there is a link you can click. Login.office1live.com This page is your portal. It allows you, connect, allows you to connect to your virtual desktop. We recommend you to create a shortcut by right-clicking anywhere on this page and going down to Create Shortcut. This allows you to enter this portal without having to go and find a URL every time. You can rename the shortcut very easily by right-clicking the shortcut's name and pressing Rename. Once you have reached this page, enter your credentials. Depending on how many applications your company uses, you may have more or less applications than me. Regardless, look for your company's name and desktop. For me, it's called iWorks Enterprises Inc. Desktop. Click on it. If this is the first time you are logging into your Office One desktop, you may need to download the Citrix receiver. In this tutorial, I have purposely uninstalled receiver to show how it is done. After you have clicked that icon, you will be prompted with another pop-up. Press open. As you can see, Windows cannot open this file because you have not yet have because you have not yet downloaded the Citrix receiver. Use the web service to find the correct program. You have two options here. We must use the Citrix receiver, so click on Citrix receiver. Follow the path. Download Citrix receiver. Download receiver for Windows. Read the terms. and follow the prompts. Quick reminder, I am only doing this because it is the first time that I am logging in to my virtual desktop. Once you have the, re the receiver, you will no longer to have to install the receiver every time. This may take a minute. After the bar has reached the final end, exit out of the screen. Try clicking on your desktop again. Open. And there you have it, you are now in your virtual desktop. To see similar tutorials, please visit our website at www.iworks.ca. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call at 604-639-6300.